Hello, Acharyji. My name is Gauri. I'm doing uh, MTech from an IT center. So my question from you is, how can I keep my career ahead of my emotions? Like I'm a very emotional person. I get disturbed with little things. Means whenever I'm having argument with uh, my loved ones, I just get disturbed and I keep on thinking about those things only and I can't study. And it hampers my study a lot. So how can I keep my career ahead of my all these feelings? It's not that we have loved ones. We love to be disturbed. Hmm? Would our loved ones mean anything to us if they don't disturb us and we don't disturb them? Think of this. If our loved ones stop disturbing us, probably the relationship would disappear. Is the relationship itself not founded on the premise of uh, giving each other the right to invade the personal space of the other? Hmm? If, you, if you want, for example, the other's time and the other is saying, you know, right now I am occupied with something important. Maybe you will exempt him or her a couple of times, but after that you will enjoy disturbing. Otherwise, you will feel you mean nothing to that person. Similarly, the other person wants to have the right to freely move about and litter in your inner space. That is what you call as disturbance, no? Hmm? Emotions we are born with and especially being a woman, hmm? in the biological scheme of things, emotions are powerful. The thing is, What do these emotions want to do to you? Where are these emotions coming from? This same body that is the source of all emotions. What does it really want? Is your nose really very interested in having a career? Right? The emotion is coming from the nose. Hmm? Nose. The emotion is coming from, mm, from the eyes, the ears, the skin, all parts of the body. Hmm? And I am not even naming the brain right now. The entire body gives rise to emotions. What does the body want? You have a woman's body. What does it want? And we share our bodies with animals. What do bodies want? Do the bodies want the woman to have a career? Do the bodies want the woman to have knowledge and wisdom? Is your nose annoyed? If you do not study, do your eyebrows feel offended if you do not clear an exam? Nothing happens. The skin continues to glow even if you are an extremely ignorant person. In fact, it has been seen that the skin of ignorant persons glows much more brightly than those who are a little less ignorant. 
does the skin care for knowledge career consciousness no no now the relationships are the relationships coming from wisdom and consciousness or are the relationships themselves coming from the body don't be in a hurry to answer i just want you to consider it so the body manifests itself in the relationships how do we choose friends we choose the kind of friends that support our mental patterns we choose friends whose company allows a rush of dopamine to the brain so you are not choosing friends it's the body the brain that is choosing friends how do we choose partners we choose partners based on their intellectual depth and spiritual wisdom we may claim so it sounds honorable but the fact is that the body has its own ways and the first proof is that a woman likes to choose a man and a man likes to choose a woman if we were looking only for intellect and depth why would gender be a concern but the gender is the first thing so the relationship itself is founded on the body now see where we are coming the relationship is the body and what you want is wisdom and consciousness now why will these two go together why will your relationships be conducive to your career or to your real growth hmm? you have an exam tomorrow hmm? you know that you have an exam tomorrow does the body still not want to fall asleep have you not no. experienced this that even yeah. if even if you know that something very important is to be done yet the body starts acting lazy and sleepy have you not experienced this yeah i have experienced this yes. right so the body has no respect for the real things in life the body has respect only for its biological construction and the body is biologically constructed just to have fun of all kinds in life eat sleep be merry repeat hmm you could say food sex sleep repeat that's all that is there to this body and if our relationships are coming from the body then know very well that your relationships will not be aligned with your intellectual pursuits including your career choices do you feel i am beating around the bush probably i am or am i coming no. to a point no you are coming to point all right all this disturbance that you experience na heavy emotionality quick to cry all these things happen and they happen a little more with women they are just the conspiracies of this body against your real purpose in life so be very very watchful you are not born just to be a servant to your body hmm and emotions are just bodily do not give too much respect to your emotions 
wisdom and discretion is one thing and emotionality is a totally different thing getting it if you start mm -hmm. living your life founded on emotions you won't go very far you would go only in the direction of your bodily constitution that's where your biological life wants to take you and the places where your biological life intends to take you are not very glorious or dignified places do not let those things happen to you hmm? emotions yeah. will continue because your body will continue so what can you do do not patronize your emotions do not energize your emotions when emotions rise do not say these are my emotions say these are the body's emotions fight okay. against these emotions hmm? yeah. whenever these emotional disturbances arise do not say oh what can i do this has happened that had happened now i am feeling disturbed somebody has come and disturbed me say i know the where the disturbance is coming from and i do not want to side with it let the disturbance be there i will still continue to do what is right are you getting it all your no, life ha huh, yes yes ignoring our emotions um, it's very difficult thing yes it is difficult but it's worth it yeah because if you do not ignore them they will be all over you yeah and always remember the emotions are not yours the emotions belong to the body the body and the yeah. body is not a very glorious thing you are a conscious human being your purpose in life is to gain heights of consciousness of wisdom of freedom and the body wants no wisdom no freedom and i am i'm saying especially in the case of the woman the body can militate very strongly against the purposes of the consciousness so you have to be even more alert and if you can be alert the results are worth it so uh, means this happen with uh, women only no no it happens with everybody it happens with everybody but the thing is that you look at our societal structure you look at the way everything is designed to affect a girl child in a way that makes her bo more body centric and you look at how prakriti physical nature has chosen the woman as her preferred equipment for her continuation when you look at the reproductive cycle it affects the woman far more deeply and for a much longer duration than it affects the man so in that sense the woman has to be more cautious both the man and the woman are offsprings of prakriti therefore they both are are vulnerable to the chains of prakriti but uh, woman has uh, some additional forces acting against her right and therefore she has to be extra cautious but that also means that her victory tastes sweeter that also means that when she succeeds the success means even more and it's not much important to ask who is at a greater risk the more relevant question to ask is would you be all right 
if you do not achieve your real nature. Maybe uh, the odds are a little more against you, but the inner urge to be liberated is the same in all human beings irrespective of their gender. So, will you be at peace if you remain a hostage to your body? Tell me. No. So, that is huh, so the question to ask. Do not ask how easy or difficult is it for me compared to a man. Hmm? Because the thing is not relative, the thing is not comparative. Maybe it is a bit more difficult for a woman. So, what? It is worth it. Yeah. If it is worth it, then we will fight it out. Yes. Right? We will fight it out. See, you are thirsty, the other one too is thirsty. Would you look at the other's thirst and say, well, you know, he is more thirsty than me. So, I feel satisfied. Will that help you? No. You have to quench your own thirst. You have to fight your own battles. And the battles deserve to be fought and are possible to be won. That is what matters. Yes. Right? Hmm. Hmm.